Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear. Citizens of Dunwall, the Lord Regent has ordered strict whale oil rationing in this area. Failure to comply will result in immediate arrest. track Morgan's in the stairs tonight. Is it safe in there? Because I've heard rumors. One of them gets some about the house dies. Oh, it's just a girl's It's not. Pressure builds up the pipes and I'll make sure. Anyhow, Morgan insisted to be in the steel. Some nights he just waits in the gold room and talks to a girl. It's funny what people will tell you. Talk to that nice girl again. The one I told you. Yeah, it's nice. She's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Idiot. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. You're supposed to be on duty. You're supposed to be. to be tonight, Lord Pendleton. Anyone you want. The High Overseer for all of
Slaves have dug half a mile down, so deep they're dying by the dozen from collapse or fumes, with the silver's almost gone. What are they going to do? Looks like they're gonna gamble and drink every night till it's gone. Then jump in the river. They state that the conservative position gets an extra three votes. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Pendleton? I was a clerk to Lord Estermont. Before. Whatever happened to old Estermont? The rats did. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament, and one day it flooded, and they all came rushing out. They say the other lords barricaded him in to save themselves. The screams lasted hours. He begged and called them by name, but they let him die.
Who are you? Why are you wearing that mask? Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off in, in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Ready to go back, Corvo? You made short work of things. Get in. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. I don't want to look around right now. Of course. We can give you the tour later, when you've rested. Thundering... Do you think my mother is really dead? I saw her get stabbed, but maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Flowers everywhere. And thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. I've been planning for Emily. Lesson plans are together. A schedule is prepared. We will make life as normal as possible here. I mean, this place isn't as pretty as the Golden Cat, but I like it better anyway. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the royal spy master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you.
Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lackey. It is a difficult time for the family. Perhaps... we should not speak. Hello, Mr. Corvo. I'll be getting on with my work then. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right, we'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me, but what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Uh.
send visitors to our city. By order of the region, the curfew is now active. Probably rats. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. <laughs> 